Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here on Israeli News Live. And uh, I got to tell you something. Intel reports are becoming shocking right now. And I have spoken to some of my friends from around the world. And um, we're starting to find out things that even the name on your screen, I'm not going to say that name out loud, uh, well, maybe I guess I could say it, but uh, FEMA, meetings that have been going on recently, they are now talking about impacts. Just like the picture you're seeing right there. Now, you are you can't quite see San Diego in this image here. It was pretty much uh, Baja, the, uh, the peninsula there coming off for, for Mexico. But if you go just a little bit more further north to that, in 2026, they're anticipating and have said among their own people within the, the, uh, the organization there, there's going to be an impact of a very sizable uh, uh, asteroid. And I don't know if this is the one that I got told from another source that the the strike will be blamed on uh, it will be blamed on North Korea launching a nuclear attack on the United States with a successful hit. They don't want you to know that it is going to be an asteroid. Uh, and oddly enough, as crazy as that sounds, that's the information. And and believe me, I have had multiple conversations over years now with my source uh, in FEMA and uh, an, an engineer, not just anybody, but an engineer, uh, a person that's very actively involved, work, works with local authorities, uh, authorities in other regions as well. Uh, so very, very well uh, educated on everything that's going on internally. So I normally get very good information uh, there. And for that to be said, and then to give a timeline, 2026, uh, even when uh, my source in D.C., when we were discussing these things as well, um, going back a little while back, which, you know, by the way, that's a lot of that information there is still very viable, very good information uh, but uh, but that, that source there that I have there has suffered some, some ser very serious uh, issues in, in his life. So uh, I can't mention a name there, but just kind of remember that person in prayer uh, because it's really hindered uh, uh, his life greatly. So anyway, but I do want to say, though, in the case of my uh, FEMA source there, this type of information being brought out and then also, too, in three to five months from now, uh, they are looking at the grid going down. Now, if you remember, same source, uh, just, oh my gosh, I forget which month it was, but we looked at the calendar on it. It was six months they were looking at the grid going down, and that was in January of next year. Uh, at three to five months as of right now. And of course, they did say that it could go down earlier due to possible war. When I looked at that six months time period, though, I realized that that was what the memory stick that I gave to Paul Bagley had December, late December of the passing of the binary system. At the same time, I'm being told that in May of next year, this is from FEMA, they're talking right openly among their own people that we are going to be seeing asteroids hitting the Earth. Now, they're not, well, I say asteroids, maybe a meteorite would probably be the better way of putting it, more like a storm of these things coming in. Um, it's not supposed to be annihilating type of events, anything like that, but still a cluster of them in May of next year that they're talking about having hit. This whole idea, though, the grid going down, uh, they're being told that it will is basically, or what I'm understanding this, I should say, this will be an inside job working with 
outside entities. Now, I don't think that means alien entities, but outside entities that are going to take down the grid. And right now, that is anticipated in three to five months. There is also a, a belief that we will have a nuclear facility also taken down as well. Now, whether or not that's going to be taken down as a strike or not, I do not know. Uh, there is a lot of concern with FEMA that Russia is going to do a preemptive strike on the United States. I can believe that to be somewhat possibly true. However, I believe China will lead the way on it. And I say that because Russia more and more is being struck in Crimea. Uh, it's been going on for some time now, but they're continuing to get struck in that area. So I can see where that very well could possibly happen. Uh, so I wanted to share those things with you there. Uh, I am going to be doing another video here because I do know, uh, and it has been reiterated, we're going to have an invasion on this planet by entities, and we're talking about the real kind of entities. But I have some more startling details I want to share with you. Uh, by the way, too, uh, Colonel Greg will be on with us this Wednesday. And I'm going to be sharing a testimony with you guys here a little bit later, separate broadcast about his, uh, about his life. God bless you, and thank you for watching.